Today, we're going to be talking some breaking news. There is a missing child out of Idaho once again. This is currently ongoing, and I would just invite you all to watch this quick video, get educated, and do what you can to share it out and to help find an endangered missing child. This is another one of those doomsday cult families. Let me explain. In 2015, Spring Thibodeau started to follow Julie Rowe, Chad Daybell, and their doomsday cult beliefs. She started to buy in hook, line, and sinker, and she was following everything, but there was one problem. Her husband, Ben, did not believe in these teachings, felt like they veered greatly from their core beliefs from the religion that they were in. So he had her talk to their ecclesiastical leader, their bishop, and they agreed that she would break away from the Julie Rowe beliefs. So she continues on trying to break away, but she just couldn't leave it alone. Spring dove deeper and deeper into the doomsday beliefs, and eventually she recruited her daughter, Abby. The two of them were spending lots of time together, talking on the phone, and eventually she also recruited her brother, Brooke Hale. And now there's three. The three of them become very extreme. And according to Ben, they were spending hours a day, sometimes four and five hours a day, on the phone, the three of them, talking all about their extreme beliefs. Mom, Spring, and her daughter, Abby, and their spouses all live in Arizona, whereas Brooke and his wife live in Utah. But these three happy couples were about to have some major issues in their marriages, mainly because of the so-called dreams and visions that three of them were claiming to have, and the spouses did not believe in them. Now, if you're three adults and you want to believe in something, have at it. The problem comes when they start to talk about Spring's son, Blaze. It's Abby's brother and Brooke's nephew, and they believe he has a very important part in their doomsday cult. That is, he, according to their dreams and visions, is a Davidic servant, and he is going to play an important role. The problem is, he didn't believe it. He didn't agree with it, wasn't interested, according to his father. And because he didn't believe in it, he is in great danger. His father believes he may be used, and who knows what that means exactly. There are so many similarities in their belief system as the Chad and Lori Daybell case, because that's where their source originally came from, through the same system, but through Julie Rowe at the time. And now they believe they are the ones that are inspired. So, of course, they have to go to Idaho. So that is where they ended up. They flew to Idaho Monday, and they have not been seen since. It has been reported that they made it to the Boise, Idaho airport. They were picked up by Brooke, who picked them up in his SUV. And then, just now, breaking news, it has been disclosed that they have crossed the border in to Canada. So they have only been in Idaho for a few days and now they are in Canada. They're on the run. Whether or not Blaze is safe, we do not know. And that is what this video is all about. Be on the lookout for Blaze. And more information concerning this will be coming soon. We do know that Brooke did drain his bank accounts. He divided his money amongst his children, and he left a goodbye note. He was going through a very rough patch in his marriage, as you can imagine, and he's now on the run with his sister and his niece 
and his nephew, as he put it, preparing for the great rapture. He did take $50,000 with him, and Abby took about $4,000 with her. Now, the adults have the right to leave whenever they want. They can drain their bank accounts and go to Canada all day long. But the mom, Spring, does not have the right to take Blaze and kidnap him, basically. The last time that he was physically seen, he flew from Arizona to Idaho and then was picked up by an uncle, drove from Boise, Idaho, and it is believed that they are now in Canada. If anybody sees anything, make sure that you immediately call the authorities. I have to say that I was wondering if there would be any more breakoff groups from the Chad Daybell cult that might rear their ugly head. And I have a feeling this is one of those. They've been hiding out with a huge congregation in Arizona and in Utah, pretending to be members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. But they're a break off because they have beliefs that would get them excommunicated and they are rogue. Let's just say they're rogue. So they're doing their own thing in plain sight, behind the scenes. It's interesting that this brother and sister, who does this scent remind you of? They be, and a daughter started calling two, three, four, five hours a day for the past year and a half with all of these new fandangled ideas and how it's going to be the end of the world and they're going to be the ones who are going to save it. Does this sound familiar? But the, the scary thing is that they too, Spring, has a son who she believes is imperative in all of this. And yet, according to his father, he wanted nothing to do with it. So she did a ruse to make him believe that she was taking on, him on a special trip for his birthday, which is in November. His father believes he wouldn't have left willingly other than thinking that it was some sort of a special vacation, but he wouldn't have wanted to be gone long because he plays football and he still had football games to play. And he didn't believe in this cult business. So that's why he's so endangered. He doesn't believe. And he is that the court has ordered that the father has sole custody and yet they're gone. If you'd like more information, the full interview from Blaze's father and from his brother-in-law are on East Idaho News. And I will get more information and bring it out to you when I get it. Please help. Let's see what we can do to see if we can find this young boy before tragedy strikes. I'll see you soon.